Hey everybody, welcome back. Just got a quick uh, unboxing, well, unbagging video here. Got a package from Army and Outdoors. They are actually out of New Zealand, but they deliver. And uh, they arrived pretty quick, I was surprised. Um, Actually, not really, because I've actually ordered from them before, and it's always arrived within two to three days, as uh, they advertise on their website. So let's go ahead and open this up, and in no particular order, uh, uh, let's see what we have. Okay, looks like bag within bag. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. See what we got right off the bat here. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, looks like ah, this is uh, an MA1 uh, pattern cold weather bomber hat. So I'm not sure the country of origin. Piloten Pilsmut. Opening for this. Um, ah. Let's see, it's a uh, synthetic material. Ooh, soft fur. We got uh, a little snap buckle there. You can snap it up. Let's see. Well, look at that, it works. Uh, label on the inside. Oh, it's a Miltec. Okay. So, that's what we got there. We got Miltec. So, very nice. Let's see the different style of flap retention. And, snaps. For the brim. Nice. So we'll snap this back up, set it aside real quick. Go to the next item. Okay, it looks like a few of these. So this is. I have to check the manifest just to make sure what I'm looking at here. It's pretty big. I'm sure you're going to be able to get in the camera view here. This is, I believe, a Czech M60 Camo. Hmm. Jacket or parka? We're going to find out when we compare it against the other items. But just going over this real quick. Looks like we've got the... Colors there, buttons, buttons all the way down, interior markings. Give you a look, see at that. Some scribbly marks. Um, you can sort of see what they say is the subtle rain pattern, especially from the opposite, the ins internal side. Here we have the brown. You can sort of see the contrasting difference here. So I'll just give you what I know about this. Uh, let me see here. I got some notes. The M60. Let's see. It's rain camo with brown rain. Straight, yeah, it's definitely brownish. Uh, on a grayish blue background with subtle water stain underprint, so you can see the the green kind of brownish gray undertones there. So and this is uh, from the Czechoslovakia time period, so it predates Czech Republic, Slovak. Um, separation there. Moving along we have that I believe was the parka because this is definitely lighter in 
material, softer. And this is also in the M60 pattern. And you can see the from the inside the other underprint on that. So we got the pockets at the top that are no actually no. I'm reading this wrong. That is actually an attachment point for identification and such. Do we have pockets? We have a rear hip pocket that is fastened with a button. Yes. And I'm trying to hold this up here. We have one chest pocket on the upper side here, also button closure. <laughs> yeah, we just have the one rear pocket in the back. So, any markings on the inside? Labels? No, we have an internal pocket. You can see there. And this top pocket is strapped down to this reinforcement strip that goes all the way around to the opposite side where the top left pocket is attached with another strip. Interesting. So we actually have two internal pockets on this side. Here's where the markings are. Let's see if I can get that f nice and flat here. There you go. And you can also see the cross swords. It's kind of faint, but there they are, right in the middle there. And the PE. Very interesting. No other markings on the other side. There is another internal pocket at the lower here on this side. So let's just double check on the parka, the heavier one. Just have the internal pockets there, and also on this one, you also have a little kind of internal pocket, which is actually the outside pocket, which are accessed glove style. So, real quick, let's see what else we got in here. I know we have a bunch of hats on the manifest. Let's see if we match them up real quick. We got, uh oh, I'm gonna have to go get that. This is a M60 camo field cap. So, you can see again the stripe pattern. And it looks like it buttons at the top, and those can flap down. Kind of like that, and separate that. So, quick expedient right there. Just have this, which I believe can stretch down. I have to see how that works. Inside, again, we have some markings and sizing. Very nice. Uh, soft brown fabric on the lining right there, and then also that tone right there. Set that aside real quick. This one we had ordered, if I'm reading this correctly. This is should be the Danish. M84 camo field cap. So real quick, what I know about this is that uh, this replaced the M58 pattern in 78, thus the... actually no, there was a 78 derivative but that was not widely used, if at all, and this was issue in 84, as the M84, 
and as you can see it starts to use more of a dot style pattern as opposed to the hard edged woodland pattern so I guess this is considered dithering uh, to eliminate you know hard edge boundaries between the different colors so it's supposed to have like olive green the light green as well as kind of a black shadow pattern as well so if we take a look at this it's almost kind of like a, a flectarn derivative and that continues on the inside as well so let's see here real quick on the label mm -hmm. let's see real quick we got a Swiss Alpenflage cap no discernible markings. Uh, German sewing kit. I can see that. On this veer. Contents. Typical sewing contents. I can feel scissors threads, different forms of thimble, uh, yeah, your typical olive gr grays, browns, etc. Do you believe it has extra buttons? Yes. A bunch there. And more thread, lighter gray, so everything you need to do up your uniforms in the pinch. Very nice. Ooh, this real quick is a this I believe is Czech VZ92 work camo. So this is actually a light olive base with dark olive printed on top, and this is actually work camo, which is more for absorbing oil stains, dirt, etc. and just having that blend in a lot better. Looks like just an elastic top, no loops, and just but two cut buttons on the fly, so these are like over pants. Uh, and the little doodad that rolled over here. Okay. This is a German West German Army Beret badge for the I'm going to mispronounce this, but the uh, Fern Spacher Reconnaissance. And just real brief, you can look up their history, but this uh, Fern means like, believe, long range, and Spacher means scouts. So these are your kind of your long range recon patrol elements that are attached to. The different core elements. Pretty neat. Put that on beret. So that's about all I got in this package. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've got any comments, feel free to leave them. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.